In this video, I will show you how to find the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix using a calculator. So um, first, let me demonstrate on a matrix that I already have typed in here. So um, I'm going to hit second matrix, get to the matrix area. Um, I have a matrix A in here, so I could just hit enter, and uh, there's matrix A. Um, the inverse, you just put this negative one superscript on it. All right, so this would be the inverse of matrix A shown right here. Um, now I'm just going to hit math, enter, enter, so I can get the uh, fractions instead of those ugly decimals. So this would be the inverse of matrix A. And by the way, matrix A, I'll just show you what that looks like real quick. So here was matrix A, and I just showed you the inverse of matrix A. So um, that's all there is to it. So if I want to find the inverse of matrix B that's given to me in problem number 8, all I need to do is type that matrix into the calculator and put a little negative 1 on it. So I'm going to hit um, second matrix and uh, switch over to the edit menu, go down to matrix B. This is a three by three matrix, so I need to change the dimensions, and I'll just type these numbers in. All right, let's quit out of here by hitting second mode. In fact, I'll clear the whole screen. Uh, so back to the matrix area, I'll just go down to matrix B, print it on the screen, put a little negative one superscript on it, make it the inverse, and hit enter. Oh no! Error, singular matrix. What does it mean? Double complete rainbow. This means that there is no inverse. Two things have to happen for a matrix to be invertible. For a matrix uh, inverse to exist, it has to be square, um, which this is a square matrix, so, so far so good. But um, also, the determinant of the matrix cannot equal zero. And so this must be where it failed. The determinant must have been zero. Um, let's see, can we check that out? Let's see, can I just clear my screen? Let's see what the determinant was. So let's go second matrix, go over to the math area, there's determinant, second matrix, let's print matrix B. Okay, so as you can see, the determinant of matrix B is zero, um, and that's not allowed if you're trying to do the inverse. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe, or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.